wanted to talk about uh, hermits. Someone asked me recently about uh, if I define myself. Uh, and I have, and I do, and I am a hermit. And uh, I'm always fascinated when hermits show up in uh, novels. Are, uh, they're referenced in pop culture a lot as, uh, as crazy. Except for they also are referenced an awful lot as uh, like the holders of wisdom. You know, the men on top of a mountain. Thought I'd tell you about my favorite story of a hermit. Uh, it's written by Hermit Hess. Uh, Herman Hess. <laughs> and uh, the book is uh, The Glass Bead Game. And uh, there was this college, and this, uh, this hermit went to go learn at it. And then he started teaching at it. And what he taught was uh, um, the talking sticks. You lay these sticks out and pull some out and rearrange others, and then what's left over. Uh, has uh, all the sticks have patterns <clears throat> and those patterns represent statements or stories or proverbs or they just have a message and then since that message came randomly um, the random message hits your mind and then your mind responds and you learn from how your mind reacted to it you learn about yourself so uh, it came time for this hermit to leave and what he arranged to do is uh, have a hermitage supported by the school and uh, four times a year teachers would go up there on retreat and he would teach them private classes about the talking sticks and uh, this one teacher he wanted to go and learn uh, from this uh, this hermit, and uh, he, had, he had his uh, vacation, so to speak, coming up, and it wasn't during the time where the hermit would ordinarily teach a class. And so uh, he was able to walk up there, travel to this hermitage, and he was met uh, at the gate by the hermit, and the hermit asked him uh, what he wanted. And uh, the, the man said, uh, uh, well, I'm interested in the talking sticks, but uh, I've just come to visit you and stay the night, if that's okay, if I have your permission. And the hermit said, very well, I will make you tea when you leave tomorrow. And so uh, the hermit went back to gardening and carrying water up to the hut. And uh, the instructor sat down quietly in the garden for a long time, meditating. And then he set about gardening and carrying water. And he saw a wood pile and he chopped wood. And then he sat quietly at dinner and they ate together, a simple meal. And uh, the next morning they had tea, but instead of leaving, they both walked out and started working in the garden again. And chopping more wood and carrying more water. Spent the day in silent meditation. Next day they had tea and went about it again. And then the next morning after tea, instead of going to work in the garden and chop wood and carry water, the uh, hermit broke out the talking sticks and laid them out and began to teach. I love that story. It's full of meaning for me. And uh, I don't know, I bet you it's full of meaning for you too. See you in the tubes.